Suncoast. This week we have some big releases and some TV series. Uh, the first big one we have is Ender's Game. Stars Harrison Ford. He is, Boy, he's not the matter? main character this time around. Uh, there's a younger man who try. is and in charge of an army going after a group of aliens that are attacking the Earth. And the aliens this time, pretty much everyone but the human race is the only race they haven't completely obliterated. It's based off of the best-selling novel, uh, it's, it, it, The Ender's Game. The next one we have, just in time for Valentine's Day, is Best Man Holiday. A group of college friends get back together about 10 years later, and it doesn't take too long for them to realize that once they're all back together, former romances and other problems that they've had are going to start to resurface. It's a sequel to the movie The Best Man. Uh, has Tay Diggs, and uh, it's got a lot of different actors in this one. Uh, the next one we have is an old classic. Disney has finally re-released the movie The Jungle Book. Uh, pretty much don't have to explain what that one's about because most people already know what that one is. It's the classic Disney movie. Uh, the next one we have is called Killing Kennedy. Uh, it stars Rob Lowe as JFK and it talks about right before Kennedy's assassination as well as take, covers the assassination and the aftermath. Uh, the next one we have is called The Counselor with Michael Fassbender. He plays a lawyer who is well known for helping out the people with kind of shady deals going on, pretty much just helping them out as a lawyer. Well, he decides he wants to make a fast buck and run a drug deal, so he goes to these people that, he, that he's helped to get their, their help and get, helping him do it without getting caught, which obviously there's going to be some problems with that. The next one we have is All is Lost with Robert Redford. Uh, he plays a sailor who gets in a shipwreck in the middle of a storm and is stranded. And that's pretty much, well, it's Robert Redford, so it can't be too bad. Uh, the next one we have is called How I Live Now. A young American girl gets sent, goes to live in England and falls in love with a, a young boy there. And right about that same time, England becomes, a, the Brit British Empire becomes a military state. And a lot of complications arise with that. Uh, the next three we have are some TV series. We have season three of Sherlock. It's the BBC reimagining of the Sherlock Holmes story. Uh, Benedict Cumberbatch is in this one. Um, I, I've seen the first season of this one. This show is actually a really good, good updated version of the Sherlock Holmes story. The next one we have is season two of Dallas, uh, the classic 80s soap opera that came back a couple of years ago. Uh, this time, it's, this has the final performances of Larry Hagman in the classic role of J.R. Ewing. The, the late Larry Hagman died while they were filming this, so they actually kill off the character. Uh, the next one we have is season four of Swamp People, the re reality show from the History Channel. Uh, if you're a fan of the show, you know what it is. Um, I not, don't actually watch this show, so I can't really tell you too much about it, other than it's people in the swamps. That's all I know. <laughs> Uh, that's the main ones we have this week. We also have some upcoming releases. Uh, Disney's Frozen is coming out. Also, The Hobbit and Catching Fire. We're taking reservations on all of those. And that's pretty much everything we have this week. We'll be back after the break.